Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of the Knit Knack Chat Knitting Podcast. I am your host, as always, Zach. Um, I'm coming to you from my apartment in St. Paul, Minnesota, where I knit and I craft and I um, binge watch uh, YouTube and Netflix and stuff. Um, this is my little corner of the internet where I showcase the stuff that I've been knitting. I um, recently have been starting to pull a single card of tarot to um, give you some little influence and like pursue some stuff for your next month. I usually record about once a month. Um, I know it's about the, just the beginning of June. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Um, but um, I just need, I just thought I would try to get on and record something real quick. I'm really busy this month. Um, I will be moving in July. So um, I hopefully will have something out in July. But if there's not any video out in July is because I am moving and I have a lot of other stuff happening in July. Um, right now I am just shuffling through the tarot deck. Um, as I do this introduction, as always, just to put some energy into the cards um, for today. It hopefully will be a fairly short episode. Um, last month, I got a lot of knitting done. I did an on and off, uh, so a cast on in the middle of the month and a cast off in the middle of the month without showing you guys. So you guys will see that. Um, and then it was also Shepherd's Harvest, so I really hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog that I posted with my friends Lucy and Toby. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, feel free to go watch it. It'll be linked. Um, it'll, it's on my page, so just find it. It's the second video. It's the first video after this one that's uploaded, so go ahead and check it out. Um, see all the sheepies and all the stuff that I bought at Shepherd's Harvest. Um, what else? I also right now am running the Socks and Stocks knit along. This is the fourth, third or fourth annual um, knit along of the Socks and Stocks cow. It is going through August 1st. Um, it is basically just to knit a pair of socks that you can showcase within some Birkenstocks or some like cute clear boots or whatever. Um, that is being run exclusively on Instagram using the hashtag Socks and Stocks Cal 2024. Um, feel free to also tag me in the post so that I make sure to see it. Um, I need to still contact a few people that I have in mind for prizes. So I'm hopefully, hopefully planning just one prize, maybe two. Um, but so, but we'll, we'll come to that when it gets closer to the end. Um, I may extend it to the end of August, um, but I'm not sure yet. So yeah, let's just get right on into it with finished objects. Um, by the way, today is Sunday, June 10th. I'm June 9th, June 9th, Sunday, June 9th. Um, I'm recording this quickly because I have to go to my sister-in-law's baby shower. Um, and then I have to go to work right after. So um, to start off, Speaking of my sister-in-law, I did finish her pair of socks. Um, so I'm going to give these to her along with all of the three objects that I knit for my future nephew. Um, so these are the Dear Bjorn socks by Fiber Creative. It is a slipped stitch, or it's a single cable style sock. Um, the main color is polka dot sheep. I believe, I can't remember what color it is. Um, and then the contrast is a, like a, I think this is vintage vinyl from Muse 2320. Um, they're both 80-20 bases, um, but this main color yarn is the same color as the baby socks that I knit for a little baby, a little knit little rib socks. I believe they showcased them like two months ago. So in the last two episodes when I knit those. Um, I was super fun to knit. Definitely want to knit these socks again. It was super fun. I think I did mess up kind of on the cable, like after the heel turn and whatever, or after the gusset, but I mean, I don't really care that much, but um, it was kind of funky. It looks kind of funky, but whatever. They turned out well and they're done. They're off my needles. 
and they pulled really nicely, so I'm happy. Put that back in the gift bag so I don't forget. Um, next, I am going to showcase my on and off. Um, so out of a whim, I had a day off and I wanted to just spend my entire day knitting and I didn't want to work on anything that I actually had on the needles at the moment. Um, so I cast on an emotional support chicken and then basically I knit the entire thing in one day, but I didn't finish it until like three days after because I had other stuff to do and I was busy. So it's all stuffed and everything. Um, I used some slub from Muse 2320 in the tail and the belly, along with a skein of some random fingering weight that I wasn't going to end up using anywhere else. I did like the classic red, white, and yellow head because I really like that look of like a scrappy chicken with like a classic, classic head. Um, I used orange it, some oranges that I marled together and um, different like gray blues for the body that I kind of um, faded together, which I thought looks really, I think looked, turned out really nicely. Um, I have yet to name them still yet to also put eyes on. I don't know if I'll put eyes on them. Maybe I will, but I don't know if I want to get like the safety eyes or whatever, if I just want to like stitch, stitch some eyes on it, but I'll be, I'm moving. So I'm going to wait to do that until I, once I move. Cause he's, just, they're just going to go in storage until I move. So yeah, that's my little chicken. If you guys have name suggestions, feel free to throw them in the comments below, but I haven't, I'm not fully solid on anything yet. So I'm just going to set them right here for the rest of the video. Okay. And next, um, I just recently posted this on Instagram, so everybody should have seen it now and it's been out. The pattern is now out and available. But I finished my Nevermore sweater by Max the Knitter, by Maxim Sear, that I was test knitting. I knit this out of their British DK. Look at it, they're so pretty. My color work, I'm very proud of my color work on this sweater. Um, colors are um, Sage Advice is the main color, is the main gray. Um, eggplant is the purple. Dirty Martini is the background green color. Oh, excuse me. And then Moira's Black Rose is the color of the Ravens. So, yeah, I really love how this fits. Um, color work on the sleeves. Um, the color work is a bit too low contrast at, like, the hem and cuffs. Like in person, but like, I feel like you can kind of tell, like, especially in the light, like you can see the slight difference, but I really like that about it, to be honest. Um, and it fits great. Really also love that I just put this shirt on that also has the exact same color as this green. It's really nice. Sweater, it fits me. I'm really happy with the fit of it. Um, I knit the third size, I believe. Um, um, I accidentally knit the sleeves of the color work a needle size up, which I mean is fine because I was I just did them on like sh um, small circulars, so I felt like that made more sense. But then I knit the the sleeves or the rest of the sleeves like two at a time. But I love this sweater so much. Um, I'm thinking I might submit it to the state fair. Um, I have one other sweater. I have one sweater that I've already like kind of selected to submit to the fair that is color work. So I think I might just do that. Um, there's something else. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up actually deciding. If I decide to submit a second thing, I already have one thing submitted, but I still have time to select a second thing. I have until like the middle of July to finalize my selections. So, um, and last but not least, I did finish my love note that I was knitting for my mother. Um, 
you will see that in the vlog, you'll see that finished object in the vlog that I posted, but I thought I would just also mention it. Um, I'm not going to do any editing with this video, so you're not going to get a picture of it, I'm sorry, but feel free to check out um, my Instagram. I believe I post it on my main, on my knitting Instagram um, and see it there. Um, otherwise, it is in the vlog video, I'm 80% sure. And right now, um, that's it for finished objects. And I have technically two works in progress that I'm currently working on. Um, I've decided to put my um, neon cozy classic Reglan on hold um, just until it gets a little bit cooler. Because I, I mean, I just have the body left to do. So I guess I could probably, if I'm in a situation where I'm just going to be like sitting in air conditioning for forever. I will probably bring that and knit on that. Um, I don't have that much knitting left to do with it, but I don't want it to be a main or focus, so I'm putting it in hibernation just for a little bit, and I'm not upset with it at all. I just have knit the sweater four times, so. My first finish up, or work in progress that I have um, is a new pair of socks. Um, I asked on Instagram what kind of socks I should start for Pride. I have a few pride themed so um, sock yarns, um, but this is the one that was voted on. This is the high five um, on the um, Mockingbird, or no, the Starling base by Muse2320, which is a sparkle Stellina base. She doesn't actually carry the Stellina base anymore. She uses a gold Stellina. Um, so this is really old. I believe this is from 20, 22 maybe, 2021. But it was a mistake die that she just gave me because there was a lot more like black and stuff in it than she wanted. So she wasn't happy to sell it. So she let me have it. So I'm knitting the Scatter By Socks by Amy Stringer. Um, so it's a simple like slip stitch. The yarn is held in front when I slip the stitches and I didn't realize that when I started it. But luckily I was not too far along to be able to just restart it. Um... Yeah, I'm slowly and surely gonna just crank these socks out. Um, I'm probably hopefully gonna cast on another sock. Maybe, maybe I'll for sure hopefully have these done by the end of the month. Um, and then I can cast on another sock for July. But again, I am very busy this month and next month. So we shall see what kind of knitting I get done. Uh, I have this in my... This is really scary. Boo, jump scare. Um, I have this sitting in my cow bag that I bought from Darn It Anyway last year, two years ago, when I bought my pig set, my um, flying pig set that you guys saw with my little, my little piggies. Those are in that bag. Um, and then... Technically, this is a finished object, but I put it back on the needles, so in a way, it's also a work in progress. Um, I had finished my um, test knit for the Partition Tank, which is a new tank top, lace tank top by James N. Watts. Um, but then as I tried it on, I was like, this is a little bit too short, like too, sh too short um, for how I want it. I want it just to be a little bit longer. So um, I cast it off. I did the hems and then I took, submitted my form or whatever, and then I put it back on the needles. So here is the tank. It is a, it fits really well, actually. It's not too, it's not too fitted, um, but it's actually really nice and open. I do have like, honestly, quite a few mistakes in my, in this lace, but like, I really don't care that much. I'm not submitting this one anywhere. Why? There we go. Um, I've just kind of been going through the flow with this one. I think there was a point when I like put it together that I like messed up the pattern, but whatever. It's like almost done. I think I maybe have like 10-ish more repeats. I'm for sure going to probably, maybe I'm going to see like put a barber cord on it and see how it, see the fit of it. And then maybe potentially just try to use the rest of this ball. Um, 
I finished the first ball like maybe an half an inch before that yellow marker there. So I had to break into the second ball, which is totally fine. Um, I am knitting this out of Knitting for Olive Merino in the colorway green or bottle green. This is 100% superwash merino that I bought at Dandelion Fiber Company. Bought this with the intention to knit like a t-shirt or a tank top. Um, so I have a third ball. Um, I don't know if I'll need it, which will be nice. Um, so I can definitely use this for something else. It's a really nice green color. So I might try to knit like, depending on like how much of the other skin I have, I might see if I can knit, knit like a pair of mittens or something. So my dad has requested mittens, but I also don't know if I want to knit fingering weight mittens. But we shall see. Um, these um, needle stoppers I got from my um, prize for the Boucle and Buddies knit along. Um, this, these are from Black Pearl Magic. So I just grabbed them and put them on here. I don't need the stitch stoppers on here. The cord is long enough where I can just shove the work away and the lace won't fall out. And I know where the lace chart is. I know where I am in the lace chart, so I'm not too worried about it. So that's, that's pretty much everything I have. I don't really have any like pertinent whips or like stuff that I want to like start. I still have a few plans for stuff that I want to knit. Um, I want to knit a new jock strap that I mentioned last episode, last time I recorded. So I think I might try to start that so I can have something, something else to work on. I think I, I've been thinking of starting a traveler hat. Um, I have yarn set aside for a bubble cowl, um, but I also don't know if I want to really start anything super big until um, after I get back or after I get like fully moved. Um, so yeah, I will still be in St. Paul, um, but I'll just be downtown St. Paul, which I'm very excited to do. So I've been working a lot, been doing some overtime to get some more money. So yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this tarot poll. Um, today is the ninth. Um, and so I am going, and it's, Pride Month, so I am going to pull the 15th card because that is the, the numbers together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 is the cable. Let me pull up my little sheet. Ah. Perfect. The cable. A crossroads, a choice, an opportunity, decisions, feeling unsure. Wow. That was so unironically fitting for how I'm feeling right now. Um, so again, as it says, it's a crossroads. It is a choice. It's an opportunity. They're decisions. And here's the thing. Cables, like decisions, are... Some are easy, some are hard, some take a lot of time and focus to work. Um, but the end result is beautiful. The end result is what was meant to happen. The end result is um, truly remarkable um, and it needs to be celebrated in a way. Um, so make, make those decisions, make those hard choices. If you're going through something right now, um, stick with it. Um, it will be hard, it will get tough, but the choices that you're making are going to um, be beneficial for you in some way, either be it positive or negative. Um, but don't give up on a ch choice. Um, if you're feeling unsure about stuff, ask people. Ask people's opinions, ask people to talk you through it, ask ask for help. That is like the best thing you can do when you're feeling unsure about decisions or choices. Um, yeah. So that is the tarot poll for June. I hope you all have a lovely Pride Month um, and a lovely knitting. Thank you so much for um, sitting through this really short video with me. 
Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I am going to get ready for the rest of mine. So bye everybody.